This channel supports Extra Life and is a proud member of Team BJO. For more information on how you can support our efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network, please go to this video's description and click the links to find out more on how to donate and support the cause. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus, and um, been a while since I've done a video, but um, felt the need to do an old gamer rant because I was sitting on Twitter, of all things, and if you've ever been on a Twitter app, they have a habit of posting um, live events at the top of your uh, feed, um, just random things that you see. I guess they kind of mirror what you're into too, because generally I either get sports, politics, or gaming things, like... Earlier today, they posted Hip Hop Gamers um, live streaming Soul Calibur 6, talking about he's fighting Nicki Minaj versus Cardi B. Like, that dude is wild. Um, anyway, so tonight, um, after a meeting for school, I like get on my Twitter app and I see David Jaffe is live. And I was like, you know, David Jaffe is a pretty cool dude. If you don't know who David Jaffe is, he's. Um, the original creator of God of War, he created Kratos. Um, also, Twisted Metal is something he's known for. Um, he's been, you know, in the gaming industry for a minute now. Um, people find him cantankerous, um, sometimes annoying, things like that. He's very outspoken. Um, but overall, I really respect him um, for his honesty, um, even when I don't agree with him. But tonight, I seriously agreed with him um, about something. So, subject came up about Spider-Man. He said he stopped playing Spider-Man. He said he probably would never finish Spider-Man because he got bored with it. Now, you guys, you know me. I love Spider-Man. I think it's a great game. I did complete it. I got through it um, just fine. But people were ragging on him for not finishing. And they're talking about how it's a great game. He's like, yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I just got bored with it because, you know... All the stuff they got around you to do, all the side missions and stuff like that. It's like I'm running around the map trying to like go after this icon, this icon. I just got tired of it and was like, yo, I'm, I'm done with this. You know, maybe I'll come back. But he was like, nah, I probably won't come back. And people like are going back and forth with him. And like, why? And, you know, he's making the point like, yo, um, basically companies need to figure out a way to like keep you engaged by giving you all this stuff. Because a lot of this stuff can, can become pretty repetitive or just you can just get burnt out on all of it and you just don't want to be bothered anymore. And when he was talking about that, and I'm paraphrasing this, I'm not saying exactly what he said, but at least to me, that's how it came off. It's just like, yo, um, it's a lot of stuff to do. I'm that type of person who likes to go after everything I see and run around and sometimes I just get burnt out and be like yo I'm done with this shit fuck you and honestly that's kind of me and that that brings me to the subject of like why I don't finish games like I do like people always ask me why haven't you beaten this game why haven't you beaten that game and it's like I am one of those people kind of like Jaffe who likes to try to do as much as I can but I realize it's like when you give me this it's I guess it's kind of like you give me this huge plate of food with all these like things that seem appealing to me or like that interest me and I start sampling and sampling and sampling and realize like you know you have several different types of chicken on the plate um, several different types of um, you know beef on the plate and it's like yeah they taste good but they're so similar um, you know and there's so much of it, it's like, I can't stomach it. And I just get tired. And even if there is, like, you know, a diverse, like, everything's a separate type of thing that has its own flavor. Sometimes when it's too much, it's too much. And you don't feel like finishing it. It's like, yo, I'm good. You know, because there's too much to do. It's like, you go to, like, a seven-course meal. Um, who the fuck wants to eat seven courses of... Um, and that's the thing. I've always said this about modern gaming is that there's an issue with an overabundance. Like, people I know these days want their games to be 
at least 20 hours. 20 hours is considered a short game. If you you can't get 20 hours of gameplay out of it, people don't find it worth it. Um, a lot of times these companies have to pad it with extra stuff to build it up to that, you know. Like, I'm playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey right now, and I really, really like the game, but I'm starting to feel like it's going to get me in a way. Like, it's, I played Odyssey, I mean, sorry, not Odyssey, Origins, and I played 60 hours of Origins. I enjoyed Origins. Um, the thing that kind of kept me in was the, the side stories to me were fascinating enough that it didn't bother me. And it, it felt like Origins kind of quickly paced itself on um, the way they did their storytelling, so I was fine. But with Odyssey, it seems like they're intentionally slowly drawing out things. It's not just with side quests, but it's like even the main quest even has a feel like. And I'll, if you haven't seen me talk about it in full in my impressions, check that out. But it just feels like they're stretching and they keep stretching so they can make sure they have enough content for you to play and make you keep you coming back and um, engage in the game. And I don't like that. I don't think you need to do that. I think, um, you know. As much as I like open world games, I think they're trying a little too hard to like flesh out what they or at least what they perceive as being fleshing out their world enough to where you feel like you just can go around and do anything and you have everything at your display when it just ends up being more like busy work and for someone like me who likes to just go and like poke around um i'm gonna naturally mess with it i'm gonna fuck with it i'm gonna go see is like what exactly is this and then if i don't like it i don't like it if i do i'll like it but at the same time it's just like yo you know i love shrimp but i don't want to eat shrimp every fucking day because i'm gonna get tired of shrimp you know what i mean so it's like they pack so much stuff in those these games these days that you can kind of overgorge yourself and you kind of start to lose the appetite for it, which um, I think is what happens to me when it comes to games. It's like they give me so much to do, and even though I enjoy it, I just get tired of indulging in it, and it just makes me want to put it down and move on to something else. Because it's like it's hard these days to move on to other games, in my opinion. If you get these large games like, you know, games I haven't beat, The Witcher 3, Final Fantasy 15, um, you know, uh, Mafia 3, uh, things like that. Because there's so much that they put in there to get you to engage. It's just like, yo, I would like to finish the story, but I can't help myself. And, you know... He pretty much put it mostly on the developers to know how to make it so that gamers don't get tweaked out, burnt out. Um, I can partially agree with that, but at the same time, um, I do put some onus on myself because I know me, I'm, I need to be bad at that. But I can definitely see like the whole, like you know, companies need to balance it more, or at least find a way to more push you towards the story like odyssey i feel like is a game that is pushing me away from the story because they set up things to where the story levels are now at such a high level where it doesn't um it's not recommended for me to engage in story stuff until i go through the meandering of the extra components to be good enough to touch the story stuff, which is a ridiculous thing. Um, again, game's not bad, but that's fucking ridiculous that you're making me hump through as much ad nauseum um, just to make sure that I'm ready to fuck with the story, you know? Um, and that's that's a big problem. That's a problem that I see like 
can happen in a lot of these open world games to keep you engaged. Um, hopefully it won't be like that. Hopefully it'll be more like like with Spider Man. The beauty of that to me is that um, as much as people complain about quote unquote it's too easy, they at least put you down a path to where you can run through the story if you need to. You do not have to feel um, as if you got to grind through to get up to like where you need to be. Um, and that's that that's a good thing. But at the same time, I definitely see like looking at all the icons. Like I've been playing post game stuff um, since um, just keeping myself now and then. I've been playing it now and then just to keep myself used to controls because I'm getting the DLC. But it's just like, yo, you know, I like the crimes, but it, it can be annoying to be constantly stopped by the crimes. Um, you know, the um, different tasks, the like time events and all this. It's like, yeah, they can be fun for a little while, but it's so many. It's like, yo, um, I'm going to need to chill and sit back on there. this. Um, hopefully... You know, companies understand that while I I get it, you want to keep people um, playing your game and keep that game in their your their house so they don't just like dump it ASAP. Um, especially since a lot of games just keep doing a lot of DLC and extra stuff on the side to try to keep you interested and you know profit more. You know, it's a business. That's what they that's what they do. But at the same time, there has to be some type of scale back to just letting you play through the story and not feeling overwhelmed by the world. Um, Because that's what happens to me. I end up feeling pretty overwhelmed by the scope of um, worlds. It's like, I'm glad there's games like Spider-Man or God of War that lets you say, yo, I'm just not going to fuck with the side shit and I'm just going to beat this shit. Cause I'm not, you know, I'm not that dude who has a lot of time. Um, maybe it's, maybe that's the thing. Maybe so many gamers nowadays have more time to, you know, burn 40, 50 hours. Like it took me two months to beat Assassin's Creed Origins because I had to only play on weekends, and sometimes I couldn't play on weekends because I go to school. So it was a slow grind through that. Um, even though I enjoy every moment. And it feels like it's going to be even slower grind with Odyssey, which worries me. Um, it's like, yo, let me just beat the game. <laughs> um, you know, and if I want to keep coming back, like, what? I feel like that's the thing. Do you like Spider Man? Once you get to the point where I'm just like, yo, this shit is just slowing me down and I can't beat the game because it's just too overwhelming. And then you could just bust through the, whatever the story um, stuff you need to bust through. I think that's the best way um, to construct it. Um, but not everybody's going to be able to just say, yo, I'm just going to fucking bust through the story and know all this stuff. Which, yeah, can lead to the other but runout. Like, Witcher 3 is a perfect example. Because the side stories are so good, but it's like, yo, these story, side stories are long as fuck. They're basically games within themselves. Let me just chill out and relax. Um, I don't even remember what part of the story I'm at. I'm probably not even halfway through that game, which is sad. And it's just like when you get ch- like free time after you've played other stuff that you possibly have beaten or gotten your fill of, sometimes you just don't want to go fucking back. Um, and then you're left like not completing certain games, which... It's a bummer, because I remember when I was a kid, I used to complete games all the time, but games were a lot shorter, um, more concise, um, didn't, like, have too much strain in them to where you would burn out. There was a balance, and there needs to get back to somewhat of balance, maybe. Um, Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. People need to accept that no game doesn't um, have to always... uh, the games don't always have to be 20 plus, 40 plus hours to be enjoyable or worth playing. Um, that That's something important. It's just like, again, going to God of War with all the extra stuff. Play through the story. 
what, 15, maybe $20. I'm good with that. Like, the 20 hour hit is, is cool. That's enough. Um, you, you give me a lot without overwhelming me. Um, it's what I think I need to be able to finish games. Because these days, with all the overwhelming... I probably will just continue to fill, finish maybe three games a year at best, you know, but it is what it is. I'm not saying if you enjoy that type of thing, you shouldn't, but just expressing how I feel about it. Cause yeah, like David Jaffe, it's just like, yo, y'all need to find a way to keep me from, um, d- from, uh, basically dismissing games because, I just can't take um, take it anymore, even though it's not bad. I can't take it anymore. You know what I mean? But anyway, as always, hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll holler at you later. This your boy Black Makers in the Mouth. Deuces.